this is Confessions of an SEO. The purpose ultimately behind this podcast is to bring SEOs together with the businesses that they serve, to experience a more reasonable balance of power, and to provide for the SEO perhaps a, a, res- a respite from all the FOMO and the responsibilities that are often thrust onto SDOs, when in reality it is Google who should be held accountable. So let's begin. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 25 of Confessions. I must confess, it's been a a while since my last confession. (laughs) I can only say that running a business, developing an indexer, testing that indexer, as well as Google's indexation system and creating all the content used and all that testing does kind of fill up the days, even the weekends. Now, I am not complaining. I just don't want you to take it personally or think that I've forgotten about you and our weekly sessions here. So um, I'm excited today about some cool developments. Some I can share, some I cannot yet. Um, A lot of you in this last year's survey said you wanted to know more of the things I'm testing and things I'm working on. And so I guess I'll start by saying, you know, backlinks are pretty cute, you know, but I'm married to OnPage. But still, backlinks are part of the game, aren't they? So I just wanted to, um, I backlinks are on my mind, obviously. Um, I'll be speaking at the YAC's SEO conference in Alberg next June. Uh, it's the only conference uh, that I know of that is completely dedicated to backlinks. Now, Jesper Nissen, and that's Nissen like listen, Um, If you haven't checked out his software, which is essentially the sponsor of the conference, you really should. They're constantly adding in new cloud sites, and he's always publishing really cool videos on how he uses that software to rank um, various pieces, uh, websites. And and the latest thing, the reason I'm like going, how do I say this? Um, The latest one is on Parasite SEO and stacking various Parasite sites. So for those who are not SEOs, that's nothing to do with pest control. Parasite SEO refers to basically optimizing a page or set of pages on someone else's site and sites where they want people to use them for publishing. So the SEOs didn't hijack the other site, but um, it's it's a strategy to capture more real estate in the search results. And these things generally um, rank well. And of course, they point back to the site where the business uh, is really made. So I'll put a link in the description to the YouTube uh, video if you're curious about that. Uh, It's very fun watching. Um, Also, if you are serious about upping your game on how to make or gain backlinks, his conference, especially if you live in the UK or EU, it's, I think it's going to be a must. Uh, It's a well-run conference. And even if, like me, you don't speak Danish, um, don't worry. Uh, My experience... Everybody that you're going to talk to speaks English, at least in the hotel. Now, the fun today is getting some details finalized on a new beginning SEO course that I'll be starting, um, developing. And I suspect by the time I'm done, I might have two out of it. So um, I'll share more about what they are and how, you know, you could possibly see all that. Um, but um that's what I'm having to toggle all, you know, time, you know, uh, for me when I'm doing, uh, SEO or in this case, you know, it's like you're creating something. Um, it's a bit like, you know, you watch the ocean until things come into focus. Um, and that can, you know, sort of be wrangled into an outline and then filled out from there. And that kind of work, you know, is not easy to just switch on and off or schedule 40 minutes here or an hour there. And this is really true. You know, I've said before, I have a music background and there is literally no way to cheat if you play an instrument. Uh, People will know if you have practiced or not. And you have to spend a lot of time in solitude working on your your craft and you can't do it by being around other people it needs to be uh, kind of solitary and a friend of mine told me about a book a couple years ago and it really 
lays it out there in terms of how to set up uninterrupted time to really do the deep work. And that's the name of the book. It's called Deep Work, Rules for Focused Success in a Distracted World. (laughs) I am a work in progress on that because, to be honest, some days it's a real mess. You know, too many questions and not enough daylight. Plus, I like spending time with my family. Um, All right, so now for the elephant in the room. Google is going through its infamous Q4 core update. I mean, it is so famous that it's infamous. Movie buffs will get that one. Um, I think it's sometimes helpful, you know, even as a professional, to put oneself in the mind of someone who doesn't do what we do for a living. You know, most people use the word algorithm like we all know what it is. But what actually is it? You know, um, since I do a lot of work with server logs and I'm very familiar with Google bots, the Bing bots, the inspection tool crawlers, the people that just come in and try and, you know, do bad things to your site, all those bots. Um, it's clear, you know, that as an industry, most uh, understanding of the process of crawling and scoring content and then ranking and serving it because the only thing we can see are the bots. A lot of people think that the bots have some part in understanding our content, like the bots might be used to actually enforce when we go through a core update. Now, just sharing what I've seen, read, and listened to, um, absolutely nothing has given me any sign that the bots are the brains. Um, No one who I've listened to has had like an engineering approach to the algorithm has ever described the bots as anything other than crawlers who come and pick up the pieces that comprise our pages and they take them back to wherever our home is for those little suckers. Now, the understanding of our and our clients' pages, like how does Google understand our pages, all of that happens behind this wall. Um, We do know that content is converted into HTML, like everything, whether it's a PDF or a page or a picture or whatever. It, it, it's all converted to HTML because Google has told us this is what they do. And to be clear, we do not see that process directly. They use terms like protocol buffers. When I say they, I mean Google engineers. And their docs have referred to it. And even uh, highly technical SEOs like Tim Kabaitis talk about it occasionally. Now, protocol buffers, or protobuff, as the cool kids call it, um, was developed by Google. And these buffers are widely used in their internal workings and data storage. So in short, it's kind of like they had to learn how to scale moving so much data around and the size of it, you know, how to, how to not just move it, but where to store it. Now, I'm not an engineer, but I think that being able to move so much around is in a way an operational distinction for how they evaluate one new page against an entire library of pages on the same subject that they have already. And then they decide if they want to add it to their collection. And when they do, then they score it and slot it in. And that's kind of in a sort of non-engineering way to describe the process of first they have to understand it, right, in order to be able to evaluate it. And then once they evaluate it, they can um, see how well it fits into what they already have or not, right? Because there are no ties in SEO. I've said before, there's no crying in baseball, but there are definitely no ties in SEO. It is the ultimate zero-sum game. If someone goes up, someone has to go down. And given that we're in an update, and an update in, oh my God, Q4, you know, which is normally what a lot of online businesses 
tune their entire year around, you know, with the intention of being fully visible to massive amounts of consumers. And they've done it, they being Google, have done it every year for a long time. And so I was looking at some of the data from Quora, and it does look like it's keyword variations driving the bus. If you don't know what those are, that's like not the keyword that you think you're targeting, but variations around it. Um, they seem to be driving the bus. So, you know, we're still in an update. So it might not stay that way. But it does look like Google is, again, changing the knobs, but perhaps not the same knobs as in years past, but changing them in Q4 prior to all the shopping that goes on. So we'll, we'll see. And of course, by the time it becomes apparent, it's likely going to be cold comfort to those whose livelihoods just got dinged, which after Q4, we know comes um, something else and giving new meaning to those words of Happy New Year. Well, that's it for this week. Check out Crawl or No Crawl reports for new findings in the ongoing indexation research. And do it while you can, because once the indexer, which is very close, um, starts coming out, I'm going to pull that behind that so that paid subscribers are the ones that get all the latest juicy bits. Um, and we might even have a fun name for it. So we'll see. Uh, it's still in testing and, of course, during an update. So it'll be battle tested by the time it comes out. Thank you to the sponsors of Confessions. Thank you for being a listener. Please come back, bring a friend. And if you like this type of SEO content and stories, consider becoming a monthly sponsor. It's been my pleasure to be with you today, and I'll see you in the service.